initially I was a little bit apprehensive because I wasn't sure what to expect. And when I got here I thought, oh, because <laughs> I'm not that technically savvy at all. Um, I tend to run away from it. But in all honesty I found it enjoyable, useful and thought provoking. And I've learned some new skills and probably are capable more than I think I can do. Surprisingly, um, quite emotional, um, which I wasn't prepared for. Um, I thought it would be um, me coming here, learning how to take some video um, and uploading it and then sharing it, as simple as that. Um, but telling your story, um, this, this, as I've learned, there's quite a technique to that. And also when it's a personal story, it can be quite emotional. Um, lots of things, sort of relevant things come up um, which makes your story special. And I've actually really enjoyed it. It's been very relaxed um, atmosphere. Um, I've met lots of parents who I probably wouldn't have met otherwise and we've been sharing stories. And I think just by, re it's had time to reflect um, for myself uh, on me uh, and my family and, and my daughter. Um, it's been quite therapeutic in some respects. I employ um, personal assistants to support me with my daughter. Um, so I, if we get any new PAs, it would be really useful to use the, the footage that I've taken with them to show them um, how we do things. Initially, um, in helping Sam's future um, health providers or care providers in, in the school environment, his teachers and assistants, to help understand Sam as a new pupil going forward and showing them his likes and dislikes and the way he likes to be positioned to be comfortable, things like that. Also, um, I'm hoping to include it in his transition um, plan. Firstly, I'll be using them um, in his, his EHC plan, um, but I can just see there being just so many benefits to this. Is he? Um, is he has got no words? Um, she has her own unique way of communicating, um, and up to now, um, expressing. Um, how is he communicates and um, how how she is in certain situations um, challenges that we might have um, it's one thing me speaking them or writing them down but when you can actually see it um, it's just like so powerful as we move forward Libby will be getting an EHC plan um, probably next year, I think. So some of the video footage we could be able to populate into that as well so they can really get a sense of who Libby is and, and her family. I think it, it's really useful um, in two ways as professionals. Firstly, in how we're able to input into the healthcare, education healthcare plan and support the families. Um, so we can help the family to think about what they would want to include from a communication point of view um, and make suggestions about things they might want to include that are quite difficult to describe with words of the written form of the report but, for, but much clearer to show on video and that would be things like um, young people that use equipment for communication um, young people that maybe don't have con conventional forms of communication, so maybe, for example, a young person who looks up to say yes and looks down to say no, is much clearer to see on video than it is to describe um, in written form. New carers and people who work with young people um, are able to see, visually see, what support that that young person needs and what they like, what they don't like, which is often very difficult to capture in a document, on a written document. I think through video, especially um, for myself, Libby um, struggles, she's no language as such, um, so the videos really do capture her, her in every way, so a smile and a giggle um, and the way she responds to things. She, she certainly tells you what she likes and what she dislikes, but it would be difficult to write that down with her having no language, so I think by having the videos really captures 
really captures that. The other benefit is, as a professional is when we're um, receiving new clients that we can use the information that's available so we can watch video before we meet young people to get a holistic picture of them um, not just words on a page we can actually see them in their in context in their in their home environment or important places to them um, and we can hear firsthand their concerns and their family's priorities i think it can help promote change um, if you know, people like the healthcare providers or um, social workers, people who provide funding, even doctors and um, all sorts of professions really. I think if you can show them how something works, how, how, how difficult life can be sometimes, um, then that can, prom can promote change. Another benefit of having uh, video footage is that although we might have lots of anecdotal um, stories around people's perceptions and concerns around transition, having it on, on a film um, is very good evidence for commissioners to be able to help us plan for the future. I feel privileged that, that some of the parents of the, the stories what have come out um, and the information that they've given us and I think it can go we can go back to work and actually hopefully change some of uh, the ways we work. I have shared it with um, colleagues at work, I shared it with a lady at work um, and it was interesting from her comments really, she, she does understand that I do have a child with um, a disability but I think it really made her under understand more of sort of my life and maybe what I've done before I've come to work and what I'll be doing when I go home and at the weekend so it just gives a bit more of an insight really. It helps you in a lot of ways think about how you want people to look after your child and if you can show them this is him happy, this is him sad, this is what he enjoys doing this will promote this sort of response. This is how you use um, this piece of equipment. It's it's more um, helpful for you to know that they they know that that that's the way that you want him, him looked after. And I think that that sort of like empowers you in, in a lot of ways to to make sure your child is being looked after properly. Your story is important to to us, and we want to know um, what your um, your concerns are, what your what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, how we can change our our practice um, to help benefit your young person. I think it's been really useful from the feedback from the parents in this group. They found it very cathartic. I'd say don't be afraid of it. I think when I first heard of it, you think, oh gosh, videos was a bit, oh. But actually, it's not like that at all. It's just having a chat with somebody who's just got an iPad in the middle. And actually, if um, you make a mess of it, it's fine. You can retake it, re record it. So there's no pressure on that. Um, and I think if you're worried about not being very good at IT, I'm not either. So um, it's quite easy. Um, well, I found it that so, and if I'm saying that, it, it will be because I'm really not technical at all. Although you you might think that your time is limited, and and um, I'm sure it is, um, this will one save you a lot of time um, if you think when you're trying to um, explain to somebody about your child verbally and have to write it down as well that's quite timely um, and you also have to do it again and again and again sometimes but if you've got a video uploaded um, showing you know there and there what, what's actually going on with your child um, as I said that's really powerful it's less time consuming <laughs>